Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope it finds you safe and well. Harry and Meghan to be paid exorbitantly due to royal links. We're going to dive straight in with this one. I really hope the volume is up nice and loud on my speaker and that you guys can hear me really clearly. Celebrity biographer Kitty Kelly expects Meghan and Harry to be sought after in the US and highly compensated for partnerships and their celebrity value. And this is because the couple can boast a rare connection other US celebrities would never be able to achieve. Miss Kelly, who wrote about the Kennedy family, Oprah Winfrey and the Royals, among others, told the Washington Post, Harry and Meghan will be sought after socially in America and paid generously. Some might say exorbitantly for their celebrity value. Not even the biggest US movie stars or sports giants can claim Harry and Meghan's link to the British monarchy. Upon stepping down as full-time working royals, Harry and Meghan did not relinquish their royal titles. Rather, the couple continued to style themselves as Duke and Duchess of Sussex on their website Archwell. They are also introduced at events using their royal titles, including the recent charity concert, Vax Live. The Duke also remains six in line to the throne, followed by his son Archie and soon by his daughter. Meghan and Harry announced their intention to carve out a new progressive role for themselves within the firm in January 2020. According to the plans they outlined in their first statement on Mexit, Meghan and Harry wanted to continue to carry out royal engagements. However, they also wanted to become independent from the sovereign grant and live between North America and the UK. Harry and Meghan were eventually forced to agree to new terms at a summit in Sandringham on January the 18th which saw them effectively stepping down rather than modifying their role within the royal family. From the end of March 2020, Meghan and Harry could no longer carry out royal duties or use the word royal in their branding, a decision that put an end to their Sussex royal brand. While retaining their full royal titles, they were also asked not to use their HRH styles and upon stepping down, also had to start to pay for their own security. In turn, they could live abroad and pursue financially profitable deals. In February this year, as the agreed one-year transition period was coming to an end, Meghan and Harry confirmed to the Queen they would not resume their original roles. This prompted the monarch to ask them to return all their royal and military patronages. With Buckingham Palace saying in a statement, the Queen has written confirming that in stepping away from the work of the royal family, it is not possible to continue with the responsibilities and duties that come with the life of public service. In a response that appeared to show their disagreement over the decision, Meghan and Harry said, we can all live a life of service. Service is universal. After freeing themselves from their royal ties, Meghan and Harry hit the ground running and struck deals which suggested they may be following in the footsteps of other worldwide famous couples such as the Obamas. In June 2020, they reportedly signed with the Henry Walker Agency for future speaking engagements. In September, they announced a deal with Netflix for which Meghan and Harry recently revealed they will produce First, a doc series focusing on a few participants of the Invictus Games, their challenges and strengths. Late last year, the Sussexes also announced they would produce audio content and host a podcast for Spotify, released a special holiday episode last December. 
Both Meghan and Harry have stepped into the world of startups, with Meghan investing in Cleaver Brands and Harry becoming Chief Impact Officer at mental health and coaching firm Better Up. While they are now earning their salary, Meghan and Harry continue to support causes close to their hearts. They remain close to the charities and patronages they have retained and are partnering up with new associations. More recently, they became campaign chairs for Vax Live, an initiative aiming to provide COVID-19 vaccines for everyone around the globe. But I really do feel that these two are basically simply cashing in on their royal connection and have always done so. To call an organisation racist, make allegations that you suffered from racial slurs within the actual family, then carry on about the fact that your son does not have a title, i.e. is not a prince, just screams out to me the desperation for Meghan and Harry to make money off of the royal connection itself and it's not actually fair when you think about it because here they are talking about white privilege people dissing Meghan and disproportionate treatment when Harry is literally cashing in on being white privileged male and he is the epitome of what it is to be a white privileged male. I personally feel that Meghan should actually give up her title along with Harry. I really do. I think that there is no need for these two to have a title whatsoever. They can be all the things that have been mentioned in the article without having to have that title. They don't even need to be six in line to the throne. They should completely walk away from the whole institution. They do represent the Democratic Party. They had Sunshine Sachs literally representing them. Harry made a speech at the Vax Cove Live to a standing ovation of Democrats, which we know fully he did. And Meghan stayed away because she had to keep an eye on the surrogate. They actually don't know when the baby is going to be born. I have been told through the grapevine that Meghan is planning to have the surrogate induced. And that is basically where it's at with this couple. They are a money-grabbing, greedy pair who need to basically be treated like other regular celebrities, i.e. the Kardashians and other reality celebrities. Guys, tell me what you think. Please like, comment and subscribe. Until the next time, bye for now.